We, our first presenter is a company that is near and dear to my heart. It is Island Global Yachting. Um, yeah, you all get a chuckle out of that. Um, I did not schedule where the, um, the uh, rotation would come in, so I'm just as surprised as you, but I've got to roll with it. So speaking on behalf of IGY Marinas will, will be Mr. Lee Hicks. I get to joke around a little bit because Lee and I have been friends for a number of years. He received his first Nobel Peace Prize and, well, we'll just cut to the chase here. Um, Lee has managed um, over three of our properties at IGY Marinas. Um, he is a, a valuable asset, not only to IGY, but the industry. Um, he has his US C USCG master's ticket and has been a, a working captain. Lee has also been integral in um, our Marina Yacht Haven Grand in St. Thomas, achieving Super Yacht of the Marina in, 20, in 2016. He now manages um, the IGY Marina in St. Petersburg, Maximo Marina. So I could go on and on, but I think the best person to speak about Lee is Lee, who is gonna come up from here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lee Hicks. Thank you, Big B. You've got it there, Lee. Notice I call him Big B, and I think Everybody who knows Bert, and I'm sure it's everybody in this room, can understand that presence. And the man just spits out this data that you all have, and he's like the keeper of all the numbers for everybody. I know sometimes that gets a little boring on the data, but it gives us something to brag about. And everybody likes to brag about something. Bert, he does the best. <laughs> so we're going to start here. This is my clicker. Let's see what the next slide is, IGY. And Bert, thanks you for making sure that we went first. <laughs> oh, excuse me. This is our, uh, our main page here. Uh, notice we only have, I believe it's 12 pictures up there of different marinas. We actually have 14 marinas in the seven countries. Uh, we do like to showcase Yacht Haven Grand here. Of course, I have a particular interest for that. That's where I started with uh, IGY. Um, Super Yacht Marina of the Year, 2016. And anyone who's ever cruised there, I think, can enjoy what happens if you're a captain or crew. The best thing about this arena is how hard we worked to make sure that we had the crew parties, some of the best crew parties that I've ever seen. Great golfing on the island. We like to take the crews and the, and the captains out all the time. In fact, there's a little secret in IGY is um, at Yacht Haven Grand, we just figure if we take care of the captains, take care of the crews, they pretty much tell the owners where to go. I think we all know that. Uh, this is, anyone's ever been up to New York and have noticed that we have the new trade center there? Uh, we were very honored to get the marina right down at the tip down there. It's right next to the ferry terminal. So if you're coming over from New Jersey, you can just come in and walk right over. Uh, I like to kid with the GM here. Uh, he's up uh, about the 14th floor there. Uh, when I was there last Christmas, I looked down and he's the only GM in our country, or excuse me, in our company that has his own ice skating rink. So if you ever get up there, uh, go see Brian and he can help you out with that. Um, this also is a great place to see New York City from. To come into the marina, uh, enjoy, enjoy the town, see all the plays, go up and down. From there you can uh, just come on down the coast and, and go to all our other marinas. One of which I think I'll get to in a couple slides, but, but first let's see what Bert put on the second slide for me. Ah, now he's throwing me off. Again, we talk about the 14 uh, uh, different properties we have in the seven, seven countries there. You can see we're primarily in the Caribbean right now. We have a couple beautiful properties over on the Pacific side of Mexico. Uh, when you wanna go the uh, passage up to Alaska, it's a great place to come through the canal, uh, start your trip, uh, uh, go to Puerto Vallarta, which we just picked up. You can run over to Cabo San Lucas, which we've had for several years. And then from there, when uh, you decide to go up the west coast, it's a great place to, to start your trip and come back down. You can tell this is Bert's uh, circling here. Um, for those of you who have been captains, you might understand that this may not be the cruising, little cruising areas that you wanna stick to. But for this reason, we'll talk about it down where our uh, facility is in St. Lucia to kind of come down on the south end of the islands. I think a lot of people like to do that pretty much in the early part of the season. Uh, we, hurricanes are pretty much out of the way and that area really doesn't get hit so much. We have a great facility in St. Lucia there. This, uh, Excuse me. Great facility. Did I break it? <laughs> no? You got me back up? Great. All right. Um, the other area is a personal favorite of mine where we have St. Thomas and St. Martin. I mean, how easy is it to take your guests and take your customers to, to and, you know, a little walk through the park, right up Sir Francis Drake Channel, all through the BVI, come back, 
Uh, of course, Yacht Haven Grant is there right next to the uh, cruise ship terminal in the downtown area of Charlotte and Mali. On the other end, we have American Yacht Harbor, which uh, for years needed a little TLC. Right now, we have a brand new dock put there. We are redoing all the docks for the boats in there. Uh, we've made some room for some of the bigger catamarans that I think you all are interested in. Uh, the perfect place to start your, your uh, BVI cruising. Um, I was there for 10 years, uh, was appointed by the governor on a committee and had found out that uh, Customs, U.S. Customs was actually awarded some money about three years ago and it takes about this long. They are planning to build a Customs facility, not the one in Cruise Bay that we all hate going in and out of, but they're going to actually put it in the ferry terminal right next to American Yacht Harbor and that's scheduled to open in about two years. So that would be something you might want to plan on going forward. How much easier will it be to just go ahead and check in and out there? Now I know that those people that go to the BVI uh, understand the BVI likes to change their laws all the time. They have a new one now that they want you to schlep everything in and, and check in and out. Uh, we can't do much about that, but it should be easier now coming back from the BVI to the USVI and checking in there. Uh, the, the Bahamas, Fort Lauderdale, uh, we currently don't have a marina in Fort Lauderdale. We figure um, having Burton Kay here is enough. So you got, you always welcome to contact him and make sure that he takes care of you. Uh, but down in the Turks and Caicos, um, Blue Haven Marina down there, uh, another fantastic, uh, um, excuse me, I believe, and if I'm not mistaken, we also have five anchors at uh, Blue Haven, yep. Another great achievement for us, I believe we have five marinas with five anchors. So five times five is 25. Maybe we can get one of those in the future. Uh, the Western Caribbean, we do have uh, Blue Haven down in Panama. Uh, we are scheduled to do some dredging down there that hasn't been done yet, but hopefully that'll be done in the next 12 months uh, to try to get some of your uh, uh, bigger boats down in there. It's not as close to the canal as we would like, but it's a great place to go hang out. There's some nice, there is a nice resort there that if you want to rest for a couple of days before coming through, I think you would enjoy that. And then from there, of course, going through the canal, and it's not circled, but going up to Cabo San Lucas, and we don't have listed here that we do have a facility in Puerto Vallarta right across. Again, 42% of the world's mega yachts have stayed at IGY, and we talk about mega yachts being, some people say 150, some people say 160 feet. We're proud of that. But the other thing we're proud of are the big catamarans that love to cruise. That's a big part of our industry and a big part of what we're looking at right now. So if that's what you're particularly doing, please check us out, because that's the direction that we want to go in to make everybody happy. Along with the large yachts, which we are always going to have, we've always catered to that, we're always going to continue to cater to that, but we are looking at some of these other markets that are very good uh, for you, for us, and everybody else. Uh, we have some more wonderful pictures sitting up here. Um, again, Bert's going to put all the data on the side and we can talk about the, um, the wonderful pictures that show there. Uh, we're all used to seeing this beautiful country. We're all used to seeing beautiful parts of the world and we just like to continue to show you uh, that we're part of that. Another new marina for us, uh, just south of Washington, D.C. Actually, it's, I believe, a little bit south of, um, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of the town that's just right, uh, Alexandria. It's just on the south tip of Alexandria. We're about 32 miles from the uh, open water there. It's a great little channel to come up if you have somebody you're trying to break in on your vessel for piloting. It's a, it's a great channel to teach that person in. Uh, you, when you get there, you want to uh, check with the dock master there. It's uh, not only on the water side, but the upland side. Uh, we have MGM Grand Resorts that will be coming in literally five steps off the property. Uh, it would be a great, great place to uh, chill out for a week. I know I would like that. Uh, and, and this um, National Harbor Marina is kind of like a lot of our other facilities. The two most important things I think we have in our facilities are our staff, and the other one that was really important to me is we listed as 28 food and beverage destinations. Of course, we all know what that means. It means we have 28 bars that are fun to go to. And I'm pretty sure I've seen some of your uh, smiling faces late at night at those bars. Again, it's, this shows you exactly where uh, National Harbor Marine is in relation to, uh, to New York, Washington, our, our facility uh, in Montauk out at the end of the island. Uh, again, from there, as far as cruising goes, I don't know, just to be honest, how many people actually 
take charters out of that Northeast area. But I do know from being in the industry so long, it's a great place to spend the summer. And I think now that we have uh, someplace up on the Chesapeake like this, it helps us and it diversifies us from having something around the New York and the Montauk area. Again, an, uh, another beautiful picture. Uh, I love the architecture up this way. Uh, being in Florida right now, uh, it's not quite as, as, as pretty and we don't have the tide changes, but you can tell that we're just doing an excellent job here. The on-site crew facilities, when I just visited this marina, were some of the nicest, cleanest facilities I've ever seen. Uh, that's important to us that actually have to work it every day. So when you get up there, uh, just en enjoy that as much as you can. Uh, again, the MGM Grand opening up right across. Uh, it, it's not even a street, it's just a little walkway you can go over there. Uh, I don't know the timeline on that opening. Uh, I suspect it's gonna be in, in the next uh, year. So when you uh, make your plans now, uh, you might wanna check with them or you can probably go to our website and we'll probably have something on there to uh, help you out with that. And again, minutes away from DC, which I think um, the last debate's tonight, right? No, I know, I, just, I had to get a laugh out of it. The funniest thing on the news this morning, the National Circus Industry sent an open letter to all the uh, media outlets and said that all the media outlets are referring to this political cycle as a circus, and the circus industry is now taking objection to that. <laughs> uh, again, uh, up in the top right-hand corner, that's the uh, new, new uh, MGM that's supposed to be open up. That's the uh, conception of it. You can see how long and big it is. So I'm sure it's gonna be one of their newest, brightest facilities that they're gonna have. Ah, here we go. Mid-Atlantic Super Yacht Corporation Marketing. Burt Fowles, IGY, we're partners. This is so important to us and we know it's so important to y'all. This is what we have to get our arms around. This will help the industry go forward and we are so proud to be part of this. Uh, the resources that we have in this organization, the partnerships between everybody in this room, the partnerships with IGY is something that we are very uh, proud again uh, to be part of here. Uh, my, my original marina, Yacht Haven Grand, St. Thomas. Uh, 2016 Super Yacht, or Mega Yacht, Facility of the Year. Uh, the current GM there now uh, has been a friend of mine for several years. If you get back down there, his name is Michael. Uh, actually, Michael's expecting a child this uh, month. So if you see him, please congratulate him on that. Uh, they should be cranking up right about now to get going. Uh, the staff is, if anyone who's been to the IG, uh, IGY marinas uh, might know the um, standard when you pull your boat in there, how the staff likes to stand up and salute you when you come in and, and all standing there. We call it the dance, if you've ever been there, and it's kind of interesting to see uh, having the staff stand up there while you're bringing your boat in and, and get you all tied up. Very proud of that, actually. Uh, and, and again, we just can't stay away from Yacht Haven Grand. It's, it's, our, it's our flagship. It's beautiful, right right next to the docks there. Uh, again, 2016 Super Yacht Marine of the Year. Five anchors. Again, we have five marinas with the five anchor award. F for the people that like to go in, into St. Martin, uh, you know there's been a problem there with the dredging. We are going, we're about 12 feet now. We're going minus, minus six. We're supposed to go to um, 18 feet. That should finish up in about a month. We really can't do anything about the size of the bridge, uh, the width of the bridge coming in. Uh, but I, for the people who stay in St. Martin, I think you understand that this, this is just about as good as um, Yacht Haven Grand. Uh, Bert tells me it's actually as good, but since I've never worked at this facility, I, I can't agree with that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and again, uh, I don't know if anyone's ever met um, Kenny Jones there on the, um, the, the man with the beard. Um, he's one of our illustrious leaders. These are the five marinas that have the, um, the five anchor awards. Kenny is actually uh, instrumental in this. He sits on a committee in England that helps set those standards throughout the world. And he's one of the best people that I've ever worked for as far as wanting to take care of guests. If you, uh, this man actually came from the, uh, the Royal Marines for where he retired out of. And that's pretty much how he runs us in the uh, company. So if you've noticed that when you walk on an IGY property that everybody is trying to take care of you, uh, it's really from, from this man here. So if you ever meet Kenny, just go up, introduce yourself. I think he enjoyed talking to you. 
inspired through giving. I'm going to turn this over, but before, you know, we've talked twice about initiatives and in, in helping out. Uh, one thing that I've, I've learned is if we can't teach our next generation coming up, if we can't explain to our, those, those people and explain to each other how important it is to take care of the environment, how important it is to take care of our bays, waterways, and, and, and all the seas and oceans, then there's really no reason for us to get together again because we're not going to have a cruising industry and we're not going to have a marina. So please, if you get a chance, go out and support the Miami Initiative and any other initiative that you can help out. At this time, I will turn this over to Kay and we'll let her come up and guarantee she's a lot better looking than I am. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. Lee. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, so this is an initiative that we started last year. Uh, this is something that's been very close to our company. It me means a lot to us in all of our destinations. Um, each of our destinations every year picks an initiative, whether it's helping playgrounds, helping schools, I should probably back away from that just a little bit, <laughs> helping schools, um, or even just helping a community center. Um, this is definitely something that is very very meaningful to our destinations as well. One of the things that we started this for is we wouldn't be the facilities that we are and we wouldn't be the destinations we are without our communities. Um, it is our communities and their loyalty to us and our loyalty to them that keeps everybody wanting to come back and, and kind of <laughs> have fun with their entertainment and their culture. St. Martin, they took care of a orphanage we had over, over 75 volunteers come in and basically do a lot of renovations. We had a huge following with our boaters on this um, with regards to donations for the, the children. St. Thomas, we actually helped two initiatives. We helped the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, we went in, we repainted their entire facility did a complete organization of everything and helped them kind of get rid of some of the old equipment that they didn't need anymore. And then we also, the swimming association that's down there, this gentleman uh, teaches these children how to swim. It is the largest swim team in St. Thomas. St. Lucia, they helped a boys home. This is a facility that welcomes young men into not really a foster home, but just a group home where they can come in and learn, you know, the different things that help them throughout life. Here we um, helped them create a garden out back and did some maintenance around their facility. Providencialis, we helped a girls' home um, with regards to refilling their pantry to make sure that they had all the supplies that they needed for the next year. This is an ongoing initiative that the boats come in and when they do their provisioning, they also have a donation box in the main office. Columbia, we went in and helped a schoolyard um, and of course repainted uh, a facility for some children um, in a local, obviously, schoolhouse. Um, a lot of the things that we learned about when we were doing this initiative, um, if a lot of you don't already know, our country is one of the only ones that really does public schooling. Um, something I learned with this initiative is a lot of the other countries that we work in and around um, do not have that luxury. Uh, children have to either be, they have to pay for their schooling or they have to be somehow documented with the, with the country to receive their schooling. So th these schools were something that was really close to them. Um, Mexico, we <laughs> one of the cool things about Mexico, when Cabo San Lucas went in and chose their playgrounds, they chose two playgrounds. Um, they split up into two teams and as they were working with one of the bigger playgrounds, all the children started kind of looking, and getting all interested. By the end of the day, one playground itself had over 75 volunteers from the community come out and help our, our crew. And uh, the, the government was so happy and so pleased, they actually did a ribbon cutting ceremony for us. Um, with our 10 locations in the summertime, uh, obviously we can't do an initiative in February in New York, I don't think everybody would want to go out on a Saturday morning when it's 32 degrees. In the north, uh, North Cove and Newport teamed up because obviously they're directly across from the channel from each other. Um, and they helped out a, it's a summer camp. Um, in New York, a lot of the kids go to summer camp, whether it's for a week or two weeks. And the initiative that we worked with there 
we basically took a lot of children that don't have that luxury and were able to help clean up one of the one of the areas so that they could go and participate in an actual summer camp. Montauk Yacht Club, they did an adoption day. Uh, three out of 10 animals, three of them were adopted that day, so we, they were very happy with us. Um, as you know, all of our boaters love their pets. Um, everything from cat, I've seen everything from cats, dogs, iguanas, birds on the vessels, so it's pretty exciting. Maximo Marina, as Lee was saying, you know, one of our biggest things is the bays and our waterways. We need to make sure they stay clean. Um, their initiative, they went through and helped the Tampa Bay Watch clean up the roadside. So a lot of fishermen, um, there's little boxes where the fishermen can drop their line and then the line gets picked up and recycled and Lee and his team was part of that initiative. Red Frog Island Beach Resort and Marina, Again, this is another school that we helped out. Um, down in Panama, they don't necessarily have the technologies that we do. So we were able to obtain, I believe it was 10, 10 or 12 laptops um, that we were able to donate. We reformatted the computers, we donated them, we made sure that all of the, the main uh, Microsoft Office programs were listed. Uh, and then, of course, one person from our marina goes in once to twice a week to make sure that the teachers are trained on an aspect of the program so that they can then carry that on to the students. South Carolina, this is one of our corporate offices. Um, obviously, we make sure that our entire company is involved and not just our marinas. Uh, so they went through, there was a, a new school that opened up. It's a school for children with learning disabilities or maybe behavioral issues. Um, that take in where an after-school care program wouldn't. Uh, they are very geared towards making sure that everything has to do with uh, a calming environment. Uh, they're very open to their outdoor space because that's what brings the children together and kind of feeds their curiosity. So here we um, helped out with some of the improvements outside and we also built these really cool hammocks. Um, Actually, all the way on the left-hand side, that is our vice president of, oh, excuse me, that's our vice president of real estate asset development, uh, Eric Simonton. Here in Fort Lauderdale, we also took care of two initiatives. Uh, we helped out with the Habitat for Humanity, which, as you know, helps build homes for people who are in need. Um, and then, of course, we also helped the Military Hero Support Foundation. One of the things that's really cool about the Military Hero Support Foundation, I've been working with them now for a year directly and doing a lot of volunteer work with them. They are completely nonprofit. Everything that they do, they work strictly off of donations, whether it's monetary and or um, the items that they receive. They are very focused in sending donations to our troops overseas. And then of course, when those troops come back, they also help them find jobs. They help them find homes, and they help them get the education that they need to further their careers when they get home, instead of having our homeless veterans on, their, on the outside. So overall, we had over 300 volunteers in February, and then we had over 200 volunteers in June. Uh, in 2017, did we put the dates on here? No, we didn't. So 2017, our dates are gonna be February 25th and June 10th. We look forward to having everybody participate. Obviously, with it being our second year, we hope to go from over 500 volunteers for the year to over 750, possibly over 1,000. So keep us in mind uh, when you're cruising our destinations. If you happen to be there, we would love to get the crews involved, our captains involved. Obviously, we had a really great turnout this year for it being our first year. And Bert Fowles. So like you come back up, you're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for that. Um, just from an IGY standpoint, before I put back on my hat for Master of Ceremonies, um, I really want to thank Kay. Um, Kay's been with us now two years, and it's an absolute pleasure. Just to let you also know, Kay was, a, was the manager at the Bahia Mar Marina. So um, she has operational expertise. But most importantly, that sort of segue, and we're right on time, so I'll keep it going, was that many people ask, what does IGY Marinas do? Um, and it sort of hit us in the gut. 
Um, we are a marina company, first and foremost, own, develop, and manage marinas. But what's more important is we realize that people just kept talking to us about who's on the boat. It became a constant discussion. Oh, who was on that boat, or who did you have? We had to change that. Um, through our leadership at, at the very top, we had to build destinations. And one of our big goal um, in 2017 is to take that to the next stage. So the reason we communicated that with you with a charity drive is we've got to get into those communities. Um, all of our executives, including me, um, we worked at an orphanage. Um, we worked at schools. And this builds the destination so people stop asking, well, who's on the boat? They ask, well, what do you do? And this was so important, whether it's Colombia, whether it's Mexico, you're able to look people in the eye to say we're an industry. We're not just a service. And uh, you being here today shows the importance of us understanding the industry as opposed to just who's on the boat. Um, and it, what I feel very proud with is I look out on the audience, I see a lot of hardworking professionals that I've had to rely on either a charter capacity, a management capacity, and uh, we have to improve it from an industry standpoint. So that's just a little segue.